Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble a multi-headed Olympus BX microscope. So first we're going to take the 3mm Allen wrench. If it's not in the scope, you can buy an Allen key set. Um, we're going to remove the heads. This is in our other disassembly videos. If you got any questions, just uh, view those videos. There's a screw hole on each side. You always want to tilt it back, make sure the eyepieces don't fall out. Then you remove the other head. Okay, once those heads are removed, you're gonna just set them to the side. This collar here, you can rotate. Once you rotate that collar off, you'll feel it get loose and you can slide this whole bridge assembly off. Um, this post usually has a, a black dovetail screw. Lock it back down and that screws right out. Once that's disassembled, this BX40 will plug in the back. A BX40 or a newer model, a LED one, We'll have a LED pointer power supply that'll go into the side. Make sure that's unplugged. Unplug the item. Use your Allen wrench. And the splitter will come off the dovetail. Now it's disassembled and we'll put it back together. So you'll put the splitter on first. Once you set it up, hold it with one hand. Make sure it's good and tight on the dovetail. And give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't wiggle back and forth. All right, I like to screw the post on to the stand first. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. All right, once that's tight, you'll go ahead and slide in the flange and rotate the collar so it's tight. Make sure you hold this up because of the weight, the gravity will pull it down. So once it's held up, go ahead and loosen that post and then lock it back down. We like to put a level on these to make sure they're perfectly level. And then we'll start putting the heads back on. So you put the head on, make sure the flange is on there. When you're tightening things down, always make sure that you leave one hand on the item and then use your, your wrench on the other hand and always wiggle it to make sure it's on there good and tight. Do the other head. And you're all done. So after you set the scope up with the dual head bridge, what you want to do is set color illumination. There's a video um, in our other helpful videos that can uh, show you how to do that. And you will want to bring the viewer side into color illumination and then check it in the passenger side to make sure that everything's within spec. So slowly spread the field, um, the field diaphragm out and then get it to the edges. Once it's on the edge, you'll look through this scope and make sure, or this head, make sure it's in the middle and it's on the same edges and they look very, very similar. Uh, another really important thing is you'll have usually have fixed eyepieces on this um, driver side head and the passenger side head, you will have a fixed eyepiece in the diopter side and a focusable eyepiece in the fixed side. And then that is so whoever's looking in the passenger side can focus their eyes to what the, the driver sees. Um, if you got any other questions, reach out to us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. You can check us out if you're looking to buy one of these at microscopemarketplace.com. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Thank you.